Hi, this is Dave out in Western Pennsylvania, USA. I work with batteries and uh, forgive me for having the uh, multimeter hooked up the wrong way. You can see the negative 3.68 open voltage. Um, I started this uh, video, so bear with me. Um, during the course of working with my batteries, I've uploaded a video on using a solar light, a garden solar light. I get these for a dollar at my local Walmart this time of year plus sales tax. They kick out 2.7 volts with optimum lighting and if you pop the stake off and unscrew the photovoltaic you got a couple of screws on the bottom and you can open that up and uh, very easily pop out the nickel cad batteries that are in there these are generally made for use in these uh, outdoor solar lights each one of these nickel cads is of course rechargeable with a modest 200 milliamp hours but serves its purpose with the solar lighting. Uh, you got about 1.25 volts in these nickel cad workhorse batteries. Now I've uploaded a video where I use these solar lights by and by p pulling out the nickel cad battery uh, I retain the small white LED and I use that as an alternative to a jewel thief. And whereas a jewel thief takes you down to about 0 0.8 volts, if you're preparing a battery and you want to test the power output, uh, these garden um, lights, at least the Westinghouse Brights, that's what the trademark is on this trade name, Bright, they're made by Westinghouse. Um, by pulling out the nickel cad battery and hooking it up here, let me show you over here, I can attach for permanent use a double A or triple A battery or one I'm making. There's the white LED. These LEDs are smaller than the conventional ones and I have actually used these uh, in some cases, I'll devote it permanently to uh, being a, an alternative to a jewel thief. Here's one where I've retained the photovoltaic. So when I'm done using the device, I can uh, remove the alligator clips and pop the nickel cad back in and put it right out back side as a uh, outside as a garden light. Um, you can get down to 0 0.52 volts. I've done this three times and a conventional jewel thief will get you 0 0.8 volts but uh, these photovoltaics will get you down to uh, 0 0.52 volts which is very handy if you're developing and uh, testing your own batteries at home or in school. Now what I'm showing you in this video, uh, I grabbed the disc mags uh, magnets out of uh, hard drives and I got them uh, makeshift piece of uh, wooden block and uh, you can see that I'm using the magnet the powerful magnet as a base and stacking three of these nickel cads and what's holding them together are s uh, small sections of the magnets so I have them hooked up in uh, series of course and you can see that right now I've got that voltage of 3.68 volts by stacking them. So that's pretty good. They're fully charged, um, just about. What I say, uh, 1.25 volts each. Let's check. 1.2 volts. So 3.6. I'm over 100% charged. Now I can use these to do work or to evaluate the power output I use vernier boards and sensors with my students and I'm a chemistry professor in western Pennsylvania and uh, that way I've got a 3.68 uh, 
output here. And as you know, a nickel cat is a workhorse. It'll just go along, go along, and then suddenly the uh, when you get behold, below the threshold of uh, voltage, about what 1.1 volt, uh, it'll fall off the table, and then you got to recharge them. And uh, that way, I can use these batteries while I'm using the rest of the photovoltaic as an alternative to a jewel thief. So just an idea in case you have some of these nickel CADs or any batteries for that matter that you might take this approach uh, if you want to stack them. And of course, in the lab, I've got plenty of these uh, holders for AA, AAA. But I just can't seem to find the ones that hold the two-thirds AA nickel CADs that come out of these photovoltaics. So anyway, this might be of help to you. Thanks for watching. Bye.